are on St. Croix. This weather is year round weather. We had a little problem yesterday with the weather, but right now it has gone left us, so you are in good hands. For your general information, we drive on the left hand side, my co pilot. Have no fear, Holder is here. <laughs> Okay, my copilot, you might see some vehicle coming towards you, okay? Don't panic, all right? You see why we drive on the left. Okay, St. Thomas, St. John, St. Croix, 3 U.S. Virgin Islands. Can you hear me back there? Yep. Yes. yes. We are a territory of the United States. Every constitutional right that protects you as a citizen of the United States protects us here in the territory. Two privileges you have, my loving guests, and we don't have is you can vote for the president of the United States and we cannot vote for the president, you can run for the president or for a member of Congress. We cannot because we are territories. St. Thomas, I mean the Virgin Islands, Guam, American Samoa, and Puerto Rico are territories. Of course, the same passport you carry, we carry it here. All the constitutional um, rights that you have, we have it, of course. We cannot vote for the president, but my loving guest, I was drafted in 1969 for Vietnam, but I cannot vote for the president. But wow. In life, some you win, some you lose, you know. Yeah. So what you cannot break, you leave it alone. All right, St. Thomas is larger than St. Croix. St. Croix, sorry, take that back. St. Croix is larger than St. Thomas. St. Thomas can fit into St. Croix three times because they're a lot smaller. St. Croix is 26 miles long, 7 miles wide, with a population of 56,000. We are 40 miles away from St. Thomas, we are 80 miles away from San Juan, Puerto Rico. However, Puerto Rican makes up 25% of our population are made of the Puerto Ricans. The main speaking language is English, next is Spanish. We must take up Spanish in class as a secondary language. Now feel free, my loving guests, to ask any question or question that you may have. I want to have a lively conversation on our tour, all right? Our first stop will be at the Botanical Gardens. Our first stop, go this way. I hope, oh, over there, clear, all right. Our first stop is at the Wimgrade House for an hour and 15 minutes. Next will be at the Botanical Gardens, last but not least, will be at the what? Rum Distillery, <laughs> where rum is blended, bottled, and aged. We are lucky, this, this road was closed for about almost six months after the hurricane. Oh, wow. Because that's where FEMA ship had over 3,000 employees for FEMA. Uh, has been based on a ship next to us. Uh, but we are about 99% electricity. Now to my left folks, don't mention my name. You, you can bargain, okay? You can bargain. He, you can see it's a stranger, he doesn't know. That's a one way. <laughs> that's why I tell him, that's a one way. Yeah, the other one. Yep. To my left, this is Fort Fredericksted. It was built in 1860. It was built with sand, stone, seashells, white lime, and molasses. Yes, I repeat, molasses. Okay, co we have to look on both sides, okay? Yeah. Then I can make a right turn, but I stay on the left. That's, that's the, 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 the business with, with, with terms. This is King Street in Fredericksted. This is King Street in Fredericksted. This is the, we call it the Main Street, where all the different stores. Now, some of the buildings you can see, my loving guests, they are remnants of Hurricane Hugo, hurricanes, but Hurricane Hugo, the remnants are still there. Because after Hurricane Hugo, there were so many fatalities and so many destruction. Some of the insurance companies filed bankruptcy. They showed it. But it takes a long while because most of those buildings are old historical buildings. You can build around it, you can build over it, but you cannot tear it down. If you do, you have by the treaty that was signed in 1970 between the American government and the Danish government. Do I have a question, please? Don't be afraid now. We're here to 
have a long, lively conversation. Just sit there all morning, listen to me, because I can talk all morning. <laughs> St. Croix has changed hands seven times. It's named the Island of Seven Flags. The Knights of Malta, the French, the British, the Danes, the Americans, it was sold in 1917 for $25 million worth of gold. Now, the Danes ruled it for over 251 years. They're the longest, uh, I would say, world leader or country that owned over an island. Now, believe me, my friends, they lived to regret it, they sold it. Because once a year we have straight flight from Copenhagen, come to the Virgin Island because we have the, the a lot of companies here, a lot of associates.